Hello everyone, this is Alan with by 7 and we're actually done with Tiny Huge Island. This is Mario 64 and we're moving up another floor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, last episode was not fun at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Having that accident happen just, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> now it's time to play with the clock. Now, watch the big hand. What do I say, the big hand? Notice how I entered a 12, right? If you enter a 12, everything is stopped. If you enter a 3, everything is a slow speed. Enter at 6 and it randoms a mix. Enter at 9 and everything will be running quick and fine. That's right, we are actually able to control how fast this clock moves. So, we're supposed to roll in the cage. Rolling into the cage is one of them we can do with the clock stopped. There's actually three stars we can do stopped, and the rest of them we should probably do slow moving. If you go with your wall case, you can probably do a couple more. But, I'll be honest, I'm assuming you guys aren't that skilled with this game. I mean, if you're a speedrunner and you're watching this and you're able to, and you're nodding your head, go for it. I mean, I've already done some crazy things, but even I know this stage is too crazy for that. But, 106. Going back in. Pin the pendulums. Another one that's good for the stop or slow. Oh, we got slow. We got slow, it looks like. That's fine. We can do it slow. Here's what slow speed looks like. You're supposed to do this stopped. By the way. In fact, I highly recommend, unless you like the fast speed, to do slow if it's your first time playing. For most of these stars, when I tell you to move the, move the thing, move slow. Uh oh. And that's why this stage is a pain in the butt. That is the first time I've fallen there, by the way. Not even in practice did I fall. And by the way, too annoying? You don't want to climb up all those blocks? You can only take the red coin course if you're not me. As long as your Mario doesn't run like awkwardly, you should be okay going up this. You know what? You're not being fun, Mario. These are easy jumps and you are not making them. That is kind of a bad thing. Yes, you can actually jump up that way. Mario, it would have been a lot quicker if I just went this way with you to begin with because you're making those jumps like, well, poor. And not a good day with Mario. And this is the back end of the batch, too. And by the way, if you were able to take the shortcut, this is where you'd, this is where you'd come up and out. Right here. So, yeah. You are seeing where I was trying to go. Now, let's do this correctly this time. Thank you. Double jumps, wall kicks, or side somersaults will get you up a lot of these, so... Even standing, Mario can still do his double. And that's enough to get you up here. So yes, you can get up here while it's not moving. Now be careful, because this guy can just throw you right off. This is the example of a green demon. 
See how he was still chasing me? People beat stages with that thing still chasing them. Now, here's the pit. Here, well, here's the pendulums. Here's Mario not jumping when I press the jump button. Here's the whole course. And here's the back of the course. Got it. Here we go. You can just do a long jump or whatever to get over there. Just be careful not to fall when you get there. Now. Time to get going. I am going to do this under fast speed. Normally I suggest doing it on three. The next star is get a hand. You can see that clock is going fine, doing time. I mean, look how fast I have to move. These things. Don't even give you time. And I'm already dead. One more time, I'm gonna try with fast speed. And I'm trying to give you an example and also show you that it is possible. Why well, am I doing it under fast speed? You'll see why. It's actually a good amount of waiting if you don't. But like I said, clock is harder to climb when it's fast. So I'm making it a little more difficult for myself to get up this path. And yes, the clock will always do a little bit of a dip before it does the whole thing. Right here is where we gotta wait. Where is it? There it is. That's what we're waiting for right there. See? That's all you had to do for get a hand. If it's slower, you have to wait for that hand. But you saw how fast that hand was moving. I think I had some time on him. Now it's time to enter at 3 o'clock. The slow speed. We're going to stomp on the thwomp, which is all the way up top. I highly suggest throwing these bombs by grabbing them and throwing them early so you can get the coins in them. I'm going to try to get as many coins as you can from this area. Do not fall. And yes, you do want to grab a lot of coin blocks. Do you know that we're going for something? I'll come at from the top. Stop. Well, stomp on the thwomp is also the best time to get the red coin. Well, the 100 coin. Why? You'll see why. Because this is really the only time we actually actually go up to the top of the... Well... Clock. And... Remember I said unless it's a better reason than... Anything? Well, this is the best time. Now if I wait, it's kind of flat. And 23, I think I can do better. The trick is, do you really want to go for... You gotta really think, how many coins do you want to grab before you go up? How risky do you feel? I think I can do it with 23, but it won't be easy. But it's doable. Oh, 
Honestly, 23 might be the lowest you can't, I can do it easily. Okay, there's the move. Like right, I so said, these things duck down before they do the rotation. That's when you start your stationary double jump to get on top of them. Right, that was a good hop. We're now going up higher. 26. Not bad. I will take a 26. Okay, this thing can pop out and then you can use it to get height or do whatever to get up here. You see this is moving. Three one at the height. Three one at the checkpoint. Not bad. Be very careful with this thing. In fact, what my recommendation? Wait for him to stop. Okay. Pop on. Now this. Is gonna be make or break. I highly suggest switching to Mario and getting a straight path. Slam it and run. There you go. Bunch of coins. Poof. Ow. Yeah, that was a hit. Luckily that was there. And yes, he can push you into that hole. Not fun. 72 is okay. I will take 72. Unfortunately, I had to make the whole climb back up because I fell because I missed the platform. But it's okay. Honestly, this is one of the worst courses in the game to get the 100 coins on. One mistake and you fall either all the way down or into the hole and that start all the way back over. So, I'll take a fall where I can recover from anytime. Even if it's at the bottom of the platform because 72 coins ahead of where I could be isn't bad. Yep, you wanna jump on, and now you wanna jump on this platform, jump onto this. You have two options on routes to go. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, there is a place up top I can get healing, so. That was a bad miss, but it wasn't the worst miss. It's not like it's death. I know I'm panicking to figure out where to go next, but it's because I'm risking it. So how easy it is to die in this area? This is one of the two hard ones. So hold on to your butts. All right. The phone isn't there yet. All right, healed up. Now. You make the jump outside. You can jump this side. go the wrong way uh, technically I did but you know what it's okay I 
And yeah, this place is gonna be using now. Wait till later. All right, this is the place where we split off. We can go up this way or over here. I believe that over here just has a one up. So. Oh, and a star for later. Get up. Oh. There's a star. And there's more coin. Okay, good, good, good. I don't feel so bad about where we are now. I just feel like doing a side flip just to make sure I make it through there. Okay, we are looking good on coin. Up here. It's one of the easier ones to get all the coins. Alright, 85. We are looking very good. Now the fun part begins. What do I mean? Yeah, how fast are you going? There should be more coin. Okay, 88. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta make that trek a little quick. Make this jump. Ooh, two coins. All right, that's not too bad. Problem is, they're all in boxes. Okay, wait for the jump. Oh no. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. This wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as it could be. All right. No, 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 no. Oh god, where am I? Where am I? I'm in a bad spot. I did say I hate this area, right? This is one of the worst stars. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Back up there. Okay, we're by these again. Back to the fun area. Mario! No, 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 no. Jeez. Grab, don't bonk. Okay. Thank you. And again. Yeah, I do not like this area. I know I'm being a little quiet with this recording, but he. <laughs> Honestly, I think a lot of this could be cut out. Back up. All right. There we go. <sighs> One more try. You know, I think I know I'll be, I think I'll be okay. I've been thinking, and I know where the last coins I need are. That's also what I've been doing. I'm mentally saying, 
Okay, map of this area has points here, here, and here. Oh god, I hope I hit that. Got it! Here we go. Yes! Get on it! I don't even care about anything else. <laughs> oh. Most of the coins aren't coin blocks in this stage. That's why it's a little easy if you know where the coin blocks are, but still. Bringing up red coins is important. I didn't even need red coins. Oh. This is how slow the hands go when you have it on slow mo, by the way. You see that guy? He's the only thing that can ruin your day. No! Oh good, ten more. Luckily I only have to do this backflip again. And yes, the only reason I do the backflip is to protect myself. I'm gonna sit out sit over here until the hand comes because the hand will because that will prevent that thing from triggering. And we'll try again. Bus. We're on the bus. Perfect. We just gotta make the jump. I just want to be done with this star. <sighs> Told you I didn't like this one. Wasn't kidding. All right. Hop on. All right. And there it is. We can celebrate a star on top of the clock tower. Here we go. <sighs> oh, 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 I think with all the stuff that got deleted, I think we'll go for a couple more stars because. I have a feeling most of the stuff is going to get removed, so let's just go for it. Three. This one's time jumps on moving bars. We've already passed where the star is. It's not going to be as far as last time, but it is in the area that we saw last time. In fact, it was the last star we just saw. We're doing it again. Run this way. This time we're not running for coins. No 106. And yes, you can long jump up there from the pole. All right. For that long exploration, I feel a little better. We've done the worst of them. I feel like I have done the worst of them. Time jump some moving bars is over here. And yeah, it's right in here. Rump, rump the bars and grab them. Quick, easy, done. You know what? One more while we're at it. Stop clock. And the last one. Stop time for, for eight red coins. That was a big hint. You can do this while it's moving, but it's better stopped. You start running up and start grabbing. If 
you do it right, like you should have done in the first place, then these coins are nothing. If you get wall kicks, you can go for the for the hundred coin star. Or if you're like me, you fall down after. You've already gotten that pesky star. You just go right back up. You saw the star port, you saw where it put the star. It's just going to grab it. That's all. And Mario getting stuck on the wall. There is a little bit of a wall here, which is why it's a little... The area is shaped like a hex. Or an octagon, whichever. I forget which one. I don't know how many sizes this thing actually has. It could be... It could be a 12. And yeah, we just missed it. And that bomb took off! Mario, jeez! We're already overtime and you're playing around like... Honestly, this stage shows why Mario is... well... Sometimes he's a pain in the butt. Sometimes you just gotta take control of the camera, get rid of the locker too, and go for your dreams. There we go. Mario camera, whenever you're having trouble with jumps, it does help a little bit. But that's all the TikTok clock. Eight stars remain. Next episode, we go hard and we go high. We're going to touch the sky and no, it's not in a book. We're going to Rainbow Road. Maybe we'll free some carts or something. Who knows? Anyway, hope you have fun and I'll see you on the next one. See you then.